good. Familiar. So the uh, the Saints tonight um, at two and four. I'll tell you what difference between having a shot and thinking about tapping out. Uh, I I don't know, right? I mean, if Derek Carr is going to be out for another couple weeks, do you start thinking about selling off any parts? Can you hold that thought for like? 30 seconds? Sure, because <laughs> I know we wanted to do this yesterday. We now have the real estate to do it. Yeah. Because the trade deadline is, I believe it's election day. Yeah, so believe it's in three, it three weeks, less, a little less than three right. weeks. Right, so, and the uh, that that moved it up. It usually was deeper into, into November. Personally, I think they should do it at the end of October, but they, uh, I don't think the NFL wants teams tapping out at two and five. I think they just don't right. want that. Right. But you already saw the Raiders send away Devontae Adams. I understand the circumstances there. And Amari Cooper sent away to Buffalo. And Albert Breer did mention yesterday oh, yeah. that there is a lot behind the scenes with Cooper's contract and and things of that nature that, that led to some potential bad blood that did grease the skids for an exit visa, even though their quarterback's playing – uh, poorly, and you don't usually send your best receiver away when that happens. But it, it does appear a lot of teams are are deciding to move some names right now. Cam Akers as well. Yep. So do you want to do it? Let's do, let's it. do it. Let's sure. do it right now. Okay. Okay. So what what are we going to okay, do? Okay. So we're going to do buy or sell. I'm going to give you five teams, and you're just going to decide uh, should these teams be buyers or sellers. Uh, as we approach the, the okay. trade deadline. Sounds good. So let's start with it. You mentioned the Saints. They're on my list. I have them on here. Let's start with New Orleans. Are they buyers or sellers? They should be sellers if they lose tonight. If they win tonight, I don't know about buying. Again, I don't have caps, you know, information here. But, man, at 2-5, and five, once upon a... This is kind of crazy to even say this. They were 2-0. and oh. I know. They were number two on my power rankings. And they list should have three. been. And they had the best offense in they the league. They destroyed Dallas at 90 points in two games. Derek Carr looked amazing. The offense looked humming. Right. And now everybody's out. Everybody's injured. Now Spencer Rattler's starting. And now, you know. If they're two and five, I, and again, I don't know who some of those people would be. I don't think Cam Jordan wants to go anywhere. But there are some people on, on that team that you'd you'd you could... You could really get a nice Probably draft not, pick or two needs, for. Everyone needs pass rushers. Right. And it would be see, nice I would to say see Cam sell. play a meaningful game, maybe get a, get a ring. If they lose tonight. If they win tonight at three and four, absolutely not. Okay, let's Can't go to the AFC. Okay. Cincinnati Bengals. No way. They're not selling. T. Higgins is a nice piece. They are not going to bring him back. Right. So why not trade him and get uh, some some assets? Uh, because back for that. Because they're they're not. They're they're still they still don't have a window. And Joe Burrow Joe Burrow told you what their window is. They do not yeah. have a as window there, on this season. Why are you saying that? Why they're are you saying two that? and four? They could be two and five. What Even is their window for this I, year? I don't know. They're, 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 they they can't tap out. If they on. go into Cleveland and do their usual, get got, which they have been. The uh, last few years, they cannot beat the Browns. How does this sound? I don't think they will. I think they're going to actually dig out, and I think they're going to. I think they have a really good shot at being 500 when they see, um, uh, or above 500 when they see Baltimore a second time on Thursday night. How does that sound? I think they go on a run. Okay, here. well, let's go the other way. Lose to Cleveland, lose to Philly, then what? Okay, then you got to start considering that if T. Higgins wants out and you want to do that, when they're, then you're two. What you're. That would make them two and six. Yeah, but they're not going to. How does that sound? I, I don't okay. think they should sell. Can I ask you a question, though? When you have a quarterback like Joe Burrow, will you yeah. ever just completely give up? No way. You won't, right? That's what he said. He said what his what his window is. His, yeah. Their window of winning championships There's, is as long as he's yeah, there. So I can't really, no matter no. how bad it gets. I no, just, I don't I don't, but I, don't, I also don't think they're going to be in that position. What else, Chris? I'm, I'm not, not giving up on I can't quit the up. Bengals. I, I had them winning the division. To start the season, I think that ship has unfortunately sailed. But what else? How about the New York football giants? Sellers? Who, who are they selling? Like a defensive lineman or something like that? I don't know. Like, uh, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, honestly, who are they? They're not selling any of their receivers. 
They're not selling any. Like who well, are they selling? Devin about, Singletary. Well, like saying, what, what if they beat like, the What if they beat the Eagles this week? Why well, can't they be? Not. Why can't they be buyers? Oh, the, uh, sure. Why not? I, I again, I I just don't see that they they give up any draft capital for somebody to try and make the playoffs when they're not going to go on a Super Bowl run right now. I mean, it, their success would be to have a nice run at the end of this season. They win here. the next two games, or four and four, right? Or and, why and, can't and make they... a nice and make a nice run of it. Well, if you look how the division is, if right. they win the next two games, why can't they think that hey, we can win this division? Right. We got a matchup with and, Washington coming up. And give up draft capital to add to add a defensive lineman, sure, add okay. a wide receiver. All right. I mean, I I love that idea. Trust me, I want the Giants to go on a nice run. We're seeing them in Munich in three weeks against the Carolina Panthers. We need some dubs. Just saying, they can get those dubs. Okay. What else? What else, Chris? But okay. other than that, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't give up too much draft capital. I'd rather use that in the draft if I'm the Giants. Team having a weird season right now. What about the Indianapolis Colts? The Colts are right now three and three, right? They're three and three, but yeah. you know, some... I wouldn't mind if they bought. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if they bought. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mind that at all. I mean, they, them making the playoffs with Anthony Richardson and getting him some of that experience right now, I think would be very helpful. Yeah, because there's a scenario in the long run. They beat yeah. Miami this week. They should do that at home. They're four and three. What if? Green Bay takes care of Houston this weekend. Suddenly now they're one back and the division is in play. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're in this mix. They're in the mix for the playoffs. And they, they could really use it. Steichen could use it. Certainly after what happened in their final game last year, they could use it. You know, get Jonathan Taylor in there. Get Anthony Richardson some experience. Let's go. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they bought. That's pretty cool. Not bad. What else you got there? Chris? Right, last one. Last one. Last one. And this is a team, man, they started out super hot, kind of like New Orleans. Not so much of late. The Seattle Seahawks. I don't... So I wouldn't sell, that's for sure. You know, they make DK available. Well, didn't they just acquire? Um, uh, they acquired a defensive lineman from, 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 from Jacksonville. From Jacksonville. Uh, so they've already bought. Which gives you an indication of what they're thinking. But they've lost three in a row. I mean, I know they've lost three in a row. They 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 could easily lose this weekend in Atlanta. Um, Then they got Buffalo and and the Rams at home before a bye, and then they're at San San Francisco. Francisco. I mean, they yeah. No, I I don't think they're going to sell. I don't think they'll sell. No, I don't think they'll sell. One of these teams needs a wide receiver. Call up for DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf. Why would they get rid of him? No No way. I mean, I mean, some Seattle hmm. fans are kind of over DK. How? Great question. Why? I, 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 antics? Antics? What's DK Metcalf do? What? I mean, he's a little aggressive on the field a I, little bit. I, I you know, but I think it's a he's, football. Oh, man. Okay. If they're selling DK Metcalf, there will be a nice long line out the door. Right. I I, I don't think so. Send him, send They've him already down bought. South Texas. That gives you an indication of what they're thinking. Okay, but they, they could be looking at five straight losses. I don't think they will. Let's be real. I, I Atlanta don't think they and will. Buffalo, that's five in a row, boys. By the way, um, you know, I, I, the, the loss to the Giants is the one that's the head scratcher. At home. I, I'm not going to, I'm not discounting them yet. Okay. I'm not saying they should sell. No, thank you. All right. That's by yourself. I thought you were going to go Jets at two and five. What they're going to do. <laughs> we know, we know what they're going to do. Keep buying. They're going to keep buying. And asking, asking their quarterback, who else do you want? Turn those machines on. And flex seal to a sinking ship. Hey, you know what? I don't know what. <laughs> I heard that stuff's good, though, What's man. Rosenhaus up to right now? Rosen, Rosen. We haven't heard. By the way, that's very quiet on the Rosenhaus front. Don't you think? What's he doing right now? Right. Hassan I don't Redick? know. Brockman, you got his number? Call him up. You know, I got met, it. met Drew one year at the Senior Bowl. He, uh, didn't, he didn't give you his number. No, nah, I don't think so. I, I, wanted, I wanted one of his T-shirts. Brockman's got a lot of numbers, man. You'd be surprised. <laughs> you want me to call him? <laughs> you should, we should. I, I would be down to talk to Drew and find out what the scoop What's is. What's going on with him, right? Yeah. Okay. What is going on with Hassan Reddick? What if he shows up in Pittsburgh? By the way, that's one of those things. These pass rushers, you can just throw them right out on the field. Yeah, right. He shows up for the Jets? Yeah. Or the Steelers? No, no. For the Jets. <laughs> I think the Lions. Pass rushers, pass rushers you could just say, hey, the, the welcome old, to the team. Go, go hunt. Go yeah. get that guy. I right. think the Lions should be calling about Hassan Reddick. Absolutely. Just a killer. I mean, did I hear someone earlier in the week say, like, 
he wasn't that big of a deal. Like, how is a guy well, who has Hutchinson? 50 sa- who no, said that? No, Hassan Reddick. Oh. I was like, how is a guy with 50-plus sacks in his career not oh, no. a big he's, of a deal? He's a, he's a prime I would imagine he's still a pass beast. rusher. He's a prime yeah. pass rusher. Yeah. No, Plain no, and simple. No I know, one said that about Aiden Hutchinson. Dude. No. Uh, he's a prime pass rusher. I'll tell you what. Uh, him on the edge, you know, with Josh Allen keeping and looking for a first down, that would have been very helpful. Mm-hmm. Even though that that might not be part of his game, but at any rate, catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.